My name is Kanyangoga Charles, an instructor in plumbing IPRC. Uh, today's lesson, we are going to learn how to install a wash hand basin. But a wash hand basin is a unit in a, in a sanitary appliances. And I wanted to give you a brief explanation of what sanitary appliances are. Sanitary appliances are fitments. They are sanitary fitments used in buildings. In buildings, I mean domestic homes, I mean offices or any other. So, those are the fitments, sanitary fitments we use in the, in, in, in the buildings to receive and discharge foul water or waste water into sanitary pipeworks or directly to drainage system. Sanitary appliances are classified into two groups. We have waste appliances and the soil appliances. Waste appliances receive waste water. Waste water, I mean, water we use just for washing, general washing, or from all food preparations that is in the kitchen side. We have also soil appliances. These are appliances that receive and discharge human excreta, soil water. I, uh, that I mean waste, that I mean uh, human excreta, like, I I can give you some examples here. For soil appliances, I would, I mean, I would mean, say it is like a WC pan or a urino. These are the soil appliances. But when I talk of, when I say waste appliances, I would mean a wash hand basin, a wash hand basin, I would mean a kitchen sink or a shower tray. Those are some of the waste appliances I have here. But in particular, we are going to look at this wash and basin. Wash and basins, we have three types of wash and basins. We have pedestal. We have another type like wall, wall hung. We have also sanity. Those are the three types we have 
uh, as our basins. Washer and basins, as you can see them, they are ceramic. They are made of ceramics. Ceramics, I mean, a, a clay that has been burnt, and then they make basins out of that. Other materials you can use to make these sandy, vanity uh, basins. We have, for vanity basins, we have uh, ceramics, we can use ceramics, we can use stainless steel. So those are the three types of wash hand basins I was saying. Wash hand basins, these are appliances we use in homes or in places for washing our hands for washing our faces, just like that. Uh, so, wash hand basins, some of them may carry, say, one, one single tap. We call it a pillar tap. You will find it has a hole here. It has a hole here. For, for a tap, if you want to use a single tap. There are others which can accommodate more than one tap. We use mixers, a mixer tap, which can just go in there. So even vanity, vanity also uses one a single tap. So <clears throat> at one time, you may say want to if you want to install that uh, wash and basin, of course you need to to have it complete. You need to have it complete. So what do I mean by complete basin, complete wash hand basin? That is a basin, a bowl as it is here. As it is here. Plus a mixer. A mixer, I mean, it is a tap, a mixer tap. This tap, you see, it mixes both hot and cold water. It mixes both hot and cold water. So here, OK, you can see it, it is this way, but one, one of Connection here is for cold, another one here is for hot. Then we have it said here, you can turn it. Should you need cold, you raise it and turn it to the left, to the to your right. If you want hot, you will also turn it and then raise, it will bring hot water. So this is a mixer. You fit it just in this, in this basin here. Another part of that basin would be a waste, a waste component. We have a waste here. This one. <coughs> 
This person has got another hole here. This hole is for a waste. After you have used your water, water will go out. The used water will go out of the basin through the waste. So this waste will go into here to receive and discharge waste, use the waters. We have also other pieces to make it complete. It's a trap. A trap. This trap here, we call it a flexible trap. It is flexible. It is flexible in a way that you can even you can change it. You can change it into different types of, of traps. So it is flexible. Traps will have P traps, like this one. If you want to make it S, we have S traps, which are in this shape. And we have Q trap, which is also in this shape. So it is flexible because you can always twist it into uh, any type of trap you, you may like. So that is a trap. It is also a part of that. Then other pieces you would need to make it complete. There are these pieces you see here. These are flexible tubes flexible tubes, they help you to connect that your wash and basin to the water supply pipes very easily. So it is a good idea say, when you have them too as a part of that wash and basin. On this wash and basin, maybe you will see different holes. There is another hole here. You can ask, what is the purpose of this, of that hole? This hole is an overflow. It's an overflow type. It is an overflow hole. That is. In case you open your water and maybe you have put a plug in the waste, that water will fill. But when it reaches this level, it will start going down. To start going down. To the, to the waste pipe. The other than feeding and again powering in the house. So this one will help us. It is a protective part, I would say, which may not allow this water to pour in the house. So you go through here, out through the waste, and then to the waste pipe and drain. So this part, another part, another part, I think, the waste, the waste, how this one, you may see this trap here, our trap here. But this trap will connect to the west. To the west. There are some fittings here. Which allows you to, to connect this trap to the, to, the, to the basin itself. Uh, 
briefly, I think that is what I can say about a washhand basin. 